Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And um, I get a lot of people in the comments that complain about the fact they don't have all the features in 25H2. They see features advertised um, on some websites that, oh, well, with this you should have that, and this you should have that. An example, I decided to enable the release preview on my main PC that I make videos. So I've decided to just enroll into the uh, release preview of the Windows Insider program. And what that enables is that it gives me uh, the latest builds. So I got, of course, uh, the update previews that are coming up that were installed. Um, and one interesting aspect of it is that uh, when I looked at update history, they just called it preview update. They didn't call it cumulative preview update or anything, just preview update. So this, for some, has enabled the brand new start menu, which I don't have. And so a lot of people are a little mad at, well, you know, why, why is it that I don't have all the latest features? And that, unfortunately, is Microsoft's way of testing things. So, yeah, a lot of us don't have the new features or most of the new features. I do have a couple little things, like on my laptop, the battery icon is the new one with the colors, uh, things like that. But apart from that, you know, a few small little details, there ain't really that um, anything new. So uh, it annoys a lot of people because a lot of people that went there and that went like me to test out went there because they wanted to see the new features. Um, and I think, again, Microsoft, you know, when a user, a tech enthusiast goes into, um, you know, the pain of going to Windows Update and then activated, activating the Windows Insider program and all of that, come on, give the new features to everyone so that they can test it and uh, play with it. I think uh, that would be nice. So I have that enabled on two of my machines. Even the Canary version that I have on the uh, Insiders is supposed to have some of the new features, including that new start. Nope, not showing on any of my machines. And there's no option for it. Now, yes, there are ways to enable it. Uh, there's a uh, Vive tool on GitHub that actually, with all the instructions on some of the websites, you can actually turn on, force these new features on by doing that. But, you know, we don't want to go and start doing all of that. We just want them. Uh, and I think Microsoft should stop annoying us with, oh, well, some have it, some don't. That's the way it is. No, that, that's not the way it is. Uh, just turn them on. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.